Hello everybody, I wanted to do this video tonight explaining my choice here uh, on this speaker for my new microsystem build. I want to make one thing crystal clear right away. I'm not replacing my Pro Max 10As that I have. And by the way, check out the size difference between these guys right here and the Pro Max 10A. You can see it's quite a size difference and it's quite a weight difference too. This speaker right here, it weighs like seven and a half pounds. It's like a heavy cat. So this is the J5A, J because it's J series, five because it has a five inch little woofer in here, and A because it's active. Now I'll tell you why I am showing you these speakers. I went to Gear Club Direct in Chicago about a year ago to check out the Pro Max 10As and the Subline 12. And somebody was demoing this speaker with the Subline 12 and I thought, wow, that's a beautiful match. I like the sound. I turned around and looked and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was this little bitty guy right here. Now another reason I'm looking at this speaker, and yeah, this is a retake by the way, it happens. When I first built the micro system way back in 2012, a lot of people said, you have to have a sub. You can't just go out with small top caps. And I felt real pressured to go ahead and do that. And I did, and I'm glad I did. But when I stepped up to the Pro Max 10As, I don't always need that sub because those tins do a pretty good job of providing bass for smaller parties. I'm talking about 100 people or so when you don't have to crank music all night. And that got me thinking, if there are people out there who are interested in building microsystems and they have to have a sub, it's going to be a 12 inch sub, if it's going to be small, why not go with a small top to provide your highs? And this can definitely do that for you. This can be something you use for maybe a ceremony. If you have a situation where somebody just needs to make a speech, cocktail music, you probably don't even need a sub, you can do cocktail music with this thing. You can use it as a booth monitor for you club DJs. Plug in this speaker with an XLR cable and run it into the back of the mixer, into the booth output, and you have a booth monitor that fits in a little bag. I mean, these things can fit inside a small Reba case that you could put, I don't know, four power cans in or two very small scanners. So there's a quick explanation for you as to what I'm doing with this thing, what the purpose is. It's not replacing the Pro Max 10As, it's just going to be a new addition and we're gonna try it on some of the smaller gigs with the Subline 12. I think a lot of you will really like this option, especially those of you who do small parties. No reason to bring big cabs. If you're bringing a sub already, this is a cool option for your highs. And here's a quick sound demo. Please keep in mind the sound demo was only as good as your computer speakers in the YouTube video and the camera I'm shooting the video on right now. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.